Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're doing a live fight commentary of the Malaketh boss fight using the Zweihander with the Stamp Upward Cut Ash of War. For the Beast Clergyman phase, we're going to fight at a close to mid range and try to bait out one set of melee combos. We can jump over the claw attacks. Here's the melee combo. This is close to mid range. We're rolling side to side to keep that range to bait out that ground poke. And then we can punish. Let's so show it again. There's the drag. Run behind him. Take a good punish. Alright, let's get close to mid distance. Try to bait out the melee combo. You can iframe this attack, but it's not 100% safe, so we're not going to go for it. Boulder into sling. That's the most typical combo you'll see as a ranged build. There's the melee combo, side to side. Bait out the poke, then we can punch. Jump the claw. Melee combo, side to side. Bait out the poke. There it is, now we can punch. Drag, go behind him. Now we can punch. Did not take the rip post. Side to side to keep that distance. Bait the poke. Now we can punish. You don't want to get too far away because then he just won't do the ground poke. You also don't want to get too close because in general he retaliates and runs away when you're too close. So we go side to side. Keep that close to mid distance. Bait out the poke. And then we can punish. Phase two. Back step. Now we're safe. He always starts phase 2 the same way, so we can always punish it the same way. Run into the pillar. This attack can lead into Destined Death, so we won't be greedy. There it is, run past his foot there, and we can punish. Run into the pillar, there's the shockwave. roll too early or you'll get roll caught by the second part. With this one you do want to roll early so you have time for the second roll. This attack typically leads to death and death but he just did it. There's the roar. That doesn't actually do damage but it will knock you down. Far away, he'll do that combo. Get him around the pillar, try to make it back to the center. If you stay at about this range, you can actually bait him into doing a ground poke attack that leads to death, and that is a good attack to punish. Run into the pillar you went to. That'll avoid the ground poke. This attack leads into Destined Death, don't be greedy. There it is, run into his foot. This attack will just miss, walk to the right, roll early, make sure you have time for that second roll. There's the roar. Run into the pillar you went on. Stay at this distance, see if we can bait the ground poke. This attack has its long range, be careful. This attack can lead to destined death, don't be greedy. The pillar almost got us hit. Then hide behind the pillar. There we go, block the blast. See if we can get him to do the ground poke. There it is. Clear a little bit of distance so he does the follow-up. Then you can walk straight past him and 
and get a good punish. If you're too close for that, he'll just do an AoE explosion, so you have to have a little bit of distance. This can go into Destined Death. Wait to see. That's the Malekith boss fight. I hope you enjoyed this live fight commentary.